Well, I'm talking to you from a country that is, quite frankly, feeling out of the world, or out of this world, right now, over its mission to connect with the red planet, the UAE's Hope Space Probe, achieving orbit with Mars just a short time ago. The Arab world's first interplanetary mission is achieved, and it is a big deal. The UAE, only the fifth country in history to reach the red planet. And it has been patient, waiting while its orbiter travelled about 190 million kilometres over seven months. The UAE, glowing with pride, its landmarks lit up in red to celebrate reaching the red planet. Well, I want to bring in the driving force behind all of this. Sarah Alamiri is the chair of the UAE Space Centre, the Space Agency and Minister of State for Advanced Technology. She is beaming as we connect with her from Dubai this hour. How are you feeling, Sarah? Sarah? Becky, I'm over Mars at the moment. It's been quite a remarkable journey of over six years now of working on this mission. A series of channel challenges. I think the most nerve wracking of them was the last 27 minutes that I don't ever want to redo in my life again. <laughs> but we did it. We're around Mars for the very first time as the fifth nation and the very first Arab nation. Well, believe me, you don't have to go through that again because it is done. Um, and, and congratulations, Minister. This is absolutely remarkable. Do just explain, um, if you will, what has just been achieved in terms of interplanetary missions. <laughs> For right now, we have the very first weather satellite of Mars around orbit that will give us a better understanding of climate change on Mar Mars and also the role of climate, the, the role climate plays in atmospheric loss. This is a first for the world. This is a first for scientists around the world. We're really looking forward throughout the next few months to get to the point where uh, we are able to release the data to the public. But for me, what was most interesting is the spacecraft for the very first time has been designed for this mission. It was used at its toughest point, 27 minutes to get into orbit. It went exactly according to, po to plan through the meticulous effort of countless people, sleepless nights, over 5.5 million working hours for us to get to the point that we are at today. Mm. Crafted by Emirati men and women, scientists I know who have been working in conjunction with uh, colleagues uh, in other parts of the world. But just how big a deal is this to this country, the United Arab Emirates? Today marks our celebration for our golden jubilee. 50 years of coming from a country with relatively no infrastructure to a country that now has an orbit around Mars. It is a stipulation for our next 50 years, one that has a solid bedrock in science, technology, innovation and creativity. Today we put a mark on the capabilities of our engineers and the ability for the UAE to transfer and build experience to build up sectors that are heavily built on technology. How big a priority was this project, Sarah? This project was a high priority project. It was observed by the top leadership within the country. Um, and throughout the years that we've been working on, the, on them, we've given them direct um, updates on where we've reached so far. We saw today even the leadership of the UAE together with the team during the toughest moments without us even knowing what the output was going to be. Uh, that marks the importance of the future generation, the generation that I'm grateful to be part of to drive the development of the UAE. Something important that is for us, we cannot stop and wait. We need to continue diversifying our economy. We need to continue diversifying the way we work. Minister, I just want you to reflect, if you will, for our viewers around the world on how you and your team got here today. I've started working on this program at the end of 2013, and it's been a series of challenges that we've sometimes thought were unsurmountable from a technical perspective from also doing this for the very first time people weren't used to the way that we were designing and developing their, this mission we had only six years to design and develop it the budget that we had wasn't very high 
we went through a lot of challenges. We went through various times where things broke when they weren't supposed to be broken. We had to fix it in time to get the spacecraft to where it needs to be today. I'm really grateful with the performance of the spacecraft. What has made this mission remarkable, Becky, is not only the 200 Emiratis that were working on this, it's the 450 people from, so, from different continents, from different backgrounds, from different beliefs. This was truly an international endeavor, and this is what science needs to be. This is what exploration is all about. I hope you'll get some sleep tonight, because I'm sure, well, you are prepared to admit that, that you have had some sleepless nights. Um, but Sarah, it's a pleasure having you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, talking to uh, the minister here behind this project as the UAE's Hope Space Probe achieves orbit with Mars just a short time ago. Congratulations.